So you want to know how the gacha system works in the weathering waves? Well then this video is just for you. Weathering Ways uses a gacha system as the primary way for players to obtain new resonators and weapons. It's generally the only way to obtain the highest rarity for both of them as well. So before we start anything, this information is being based on the CBT, so there could be changes made on full release. Convene is what Weathering Waves calls its gacha banners. To roll on the gacha banner or convening, you will need to use either asteroids, gacha currency or tides which are used to obtain pools. Asteroids and tides can be obtained from various various in-game sources as missions, events, and certain shops. You can exchange 160 Asteroid for either one Lustrous Tide, one Radiant Tide, or one Forging Tide. Lustrous Tides are used on the Novice Convene, Character Permanent Convene, and Weapon Permanent Convene. In easier terms, these pools can only be used on the standard banners. Radiant Tides are used on the Character Event Convene, and Forging Tides are used on the Weapon Event Convene. You can obtain the following 3-star weapons, 4-star weapons, 5-star weapons, 4 star resonators and five star resonators. Stars refer to the rarity of the resonator or weapon. The higher the number of stars, the higher the rarity. They will also be the most difficult to obtain. There will be a four star guarantee if you don't obtain one within the first nine pools. You are then guaranteed one on the tenth. This counter will reset every time you obtain a four star resonator or weapon. Oscillate corals and afterglow corals are in-game currencies that are only obtainable by pulling on the gacha. They can be used in their respective exchange stores to purchase tides wave bands, upgrade materials and other resources. You can obtain oscillate corals by obtaining a 3 star weapon from convening. Each 3 star weapon will give you 15 obsolete corals. You can get afterglow corals by obtaining a 4 star weapon which will give you 3 afterglow corals, obtaining any 5 star weapon which will give you 15 afterglow corals, obtaining any 4 star resonator from the 1st to 6th duplicate you will obtain 3 afterglow corals and 1 wave band of the specific resonator and then the 7th duplicate onwards will give you 8 afterglow corals. Obtaining a duplicate 5 star resonator from the 1st to the 6th resonator you will obtain 15 afterglow corals and 1 wave band of that specific resonator and then the 7th duplicate onwards will give you 40 afterglow corals. Note that you will not receive any afterglow corals when you pull a resonator that you don't already own. You can use the afterglow corals to purchase up to 2 wave bands which are your dupes in this game for any standard 4 or 5 star resonators. This does include the current event characters as well but they will cost more to buy. You can only summon 50 times on the on the novice convene banner but you are guaranteed to obtain one five star resonator within the first 50 pulls. You cannot do single pulls. You can only pull in multiple pulls of 10 However, you will receive a 20% discount every time you pull. So it will only cost 8 lustrous tides instead of the normal 10. The rates for pulling a 5 star resonator from this banner is currently set at 0.8%. The rate for a 4 star resonator or weapon from this banner is currently set to 6%. No resonators or weapons have increased rates on this convene. You can only use lustrous tides on this banner, which again are your standard pulls. You can only obtain one of these 5 star resonators from this convene. Barina, Encore, Kocharo, Yan, or Jianxin. For the next convene, it will be the character permanent one. This will be your standard banner that will stay forever in the game. You are guaranteed to obtain one 5 star resonator within 80 pulls and the pity isn't shared with the event banners. All the rates are the same as the last one so 5 stars are 0.8% and 4 stars are 6%. Again you can only use lustrous ties to pull on this banner and it will also have the same 5 star resonators in it. For the weapon permanent banner you can select one of the 5 star weapons you want to obtain. There will be one for each archetype. You are guaranteed to obtain the selected 5 star weapon within 80 pulls and once again the pity isn't shared with the weapon event banner. The rates are going to be the same as the resonator ones so 0.8% for a 5 star, 6% for a 4 star. Again lustrous tides can only be used on this banner. The weapons you can pull for are Emerald of Genesis which is a sword, Abyss Surges which is your gauntlets, Static Mist which is your pistols, Cosmic Ripples which are your rectifiers and Lustrous Razor which is your broad blades. Next up is the character event convene. For this there will be one 5 star and three 4 star resonators that will be featured on the given event banner. The rate of pulling a 4 star is 6% or a 5 star is 0.8%. Once you pull a 5 star resonator you have a 50% chance of it being the rate up one. If you lose the 50-50 then the second 5 star resonator will 100% be the, the rate up one. You are guaranteed to obtain a 5 star within 80 pulls as that is the pity. So if you're unlucky it will take at most 160 pulls to get your rate up resonator. You can only use radiant tides on this banner. During the CBT2 the characters that had their rate up banners were Jian and Yin 
Goblin. For the weapon event banner, there will be one five star and three four star weapons that will be featured on the given weapon event banner. The rates are the same as the previous talked about banner, so 6% for a four star and 0.8% for a five star. Once you put a five star weapon, it is 100% guaranteed to be the featured weapon, so no needing to worry about winning the 50 50. You are guaranteed a five star within 80 pulls, as that is the pity, and you can only use forging tides on this banner. Hopefully, you found this video was helpful to you. Who are you going to be pulling for, and what weapon are you going to be pulling for? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to follow me over on my Twitch, as I'll be streaming all day and all night on the release of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one.